Adventure. This place has been here for over five years. Um, they started out doing um, home brewing and um, hydroponic growing. Okay. So um, that was this whole facility. Wow. And then last year, they actually opened up, built and opened the brewery that we're gonna tour in a little while. But what we're seeing here is all the brewing supplies. So you have like all your different malts and barleys that can be used in beer, and they do their brew school um, periodically. I know it's often here on a Saturday and there'll be people here all learning how to do home brewing and they have all of this to choose from. So the brewer here is very well versed, obviously a very good brewer. Everybody, this is Connor. He is all knowing. Hey, 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 hey. He is all knowing all brewing and he's going to tell you about <laughs> how they brew the fantastic beer here. She's heard enough, she might be able to do it herself. I probably <laughs> So the process of making beer, basically the main ingredients are water, grain, hops, and yeast. There are other things you can add in, like I imagine you've all had Shock Top, which has orange in it and stuff like that, so you can kind of play around with it with sours and things like that. Main process of brewing beer is you take malted barley and you steep it in hot water. And that's what goes on in this pretty vessel here. And you can see there's little strings at the bottom that will help me separate the grains from the water so I can get that sugary liquid to come out. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing the grain with water so the enzyme activity will convert that starch into sugar. Then I'll take that sugar out, bring it into this guy, and boil it. And during the boil, I'm adding my hops. It's evaporating, it's sanitizing it, so it's bringing it up to temperature where it kills anything that might be in it. Then I'll send it through here to chill it, and then pump it into one of these fermenters, which are temperature controlled, and I'll pitch my yeast into it. And at any part of this process, I can add in different things. Like in the boil, I could put coriander or chocolate or peanut butter or you know whatever. In the fermenters, I can add fruits. I can add anything else I need to. And then for sours, uh, sours actually use a bacteria called Lactobacillus typically to create that sourness. Basically the same thing that's in uh, yogurt. So as the uh, Lactobacillus eats the sugar, it creates lactic acid, which lowers the pH, which makes us perceive sourness. It's kind of a fun little process. You can also do mixed fermentation, which is that sour that you guys might be drinking right now, where I have the bacteria, yeast, and wild yeast all fermenting together, creating that really unique flavor. And uh, you've been to Green Bench, you've got like, a lot of the saisons with the wild yeast mm -hmm. in them, they're really unique flavors. Not, they're really unique, some of them are weird, but unique. <laughs> <laughs> But I love that, you know, it's, there's so much variety in beer, so much creativity that you can play around with that you can tell that each brewery's beers are vastly different, even if it's the same style, you can still kind of have very variances in between different brewers, which is kind of nice, because you go somewhere else and try the same style and have a different experience. Thanks for showing us this stuff. No problem, glad you guys could all come.